Hello friends. So to make the butterfly, we are going to make some arcs. See how I am pivoting my wrist and making the arc. But I must remind you that the arcs doesn't have to be perfect. Just make one part as much good arc you can make. My arcs might seem much better with the pen because I'm used to it. But if you have followed my first video in this uh, pen drawing series, then you will know that uh, the lines doesn't have to be perfect. The background will make the inside better. It means we have opportunity to make the figure pop out through the background. So I'm just going to continue with the drawing. Here I'm making some petals of the flower on which the butterfly is sitting. So just make the petals with lines, simple lines, whatever possible. It doesn't have to be perfect like I said because everything is going to be mended or repaired through the background. And in this drawing, the main thing is the butterfly and its design. And you do not have to make the butterfly designs like I am making. You can make any kind of design, whatever you like. After filling up the butterfly with some, you know, the strokes and random strokes, all we have to do is make the background and the butterfly will pop up. So here I am making the design like whatever I feel like a butterfly design should be so you can make this design or you can make any design you want I'm just going with some random pattern and uh, by the way the link to my first video will be in the description if you follow that you'll know that uh, I asked you to do the background with on the main subject with some random strokes and there I strokes the you strokes in the form of eight and uh, very random strokes but giving random strokes makes you makes your mind train to move your hand freely so it's actually kind of an exercise so using the same movement I'm going to just fill up the butterfly so I'm just going to use some random strokes to fill up the butterfly. Another thing is that uh, I have a white pen. So even if I make the butterfly really dark, I have a white pen to make it pop up. So if you think that the butterfly shouldn't be as very dark, then you can give some light strokes as well, light random strokes, like whatever strokes you like, light random strokes that will keep the black lighter. I'll come to that in the later part of the video. So I'm just going to fill up the designs and here I'm going with some random circular strokes because I think that would look good so that's why I gave it the circular strokes so I'm going to carry on with it here I'm giving the random circular strokes and the main reason for doing it is that the black won't be very darkish black here I'm marking the designs so that the design pop up after the final product you can actually keep some of the spaces white as well if you like so I'm just going to make few places dark This is actually kind of an intermediate level drawing but it's not extremely extremely 
tough or something like that it is little bit uh more than or lesser than easy it's not extremely easy but it's okay it's good enough if you uh, if you give it a little bit of try it will you can draw this and the main thing about these painting is that like we all know that in a lockdown situation so these paintings are very simple like there is only one subject or two but it takes lot of time and that is something we are trying to pass right so it takes lot of time it will consume lot of your time and it only requires pen and a paper so you can all give it a try and it will be really helpful in passing time and it will you can avoid going out like you won't feel bored or something is so it will refresh your mind so please give it a try and if you like the video watch till the end if you are liking now and at the end if you like the video then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel cuz i make lot of content so i'm almost finished filling up the design so can you see the white portions are popping out in the black so imagine how it will look when i will fill the entire background so i'm almost done with the butterfly and uh, let me make those little bit dark so and i'm going to make the tentacles of the butterfly bit thick so that there is space to put on some design and i'm sorry for this but the camera actually stopped in the middle but in the last time also i did the same thing that is put some random strokes in and actually the drawing is done now all we have to do is fill up the background and that's it so i'm just going to go ahead and fill up the background here i'm giving the same old vertical and diagonal strokes and like i said the strokes doesn't have to be perfect so i'm just going to give the strokes and i'll just fill up the entire thing and i'm going to keep the flower white completely white so that it pops out here i'm going with some horizontal strokes vertical strokes and there's something which i'll add in here because i want the background to be darker so i just and notice another thing like while going on the edges i'm making them dark so that the white looks brighter and that's it and we love this part now the flower will look really bright and that will give a very good look to the entire drawing i'm almost done feeling the flower you can almost feel how the finished product might look few more strokes now horizontal as well as vertical 
and this filling up of background takes actually a lot of time it took me quite a bit of time this is not a very big paper like i took around um, 30 cm to 24 cm kind of a paper it's not a very big you can take even smaller paper or even bigger paper whatever you feel like and there is no restriction to use a paper so now i'm going to make the background big darker by giving diagonal strokes like crisscross or from left to right so here i'm going to go from left strokes and then some diagonal crossing actually you can see okay here is another thing i'm using the white pen to bring out some of the white in the stems of the flower so like i said i have a i already have a white pen so if i feel any place should be whiter i can do that in case you do not have white pen you can use any kind of color as well it doesn't matter or if you do not have any color then keep some of the places white so that you can just uh, go over them later on i'm just going to fill a few few places with the white and it will make the drawing pop up a bit more like you can already see the stem is popping out so in the initial stage only you can just uh, keep the stem white then you won't need the white panels i'm going to go with the diagonal strokes and some diagonal stroke in the opposite direction i think i'm almost done i'm just going to put in my signature and this i have finished so if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel until next time goodbye